The Pathfinders are one of the UK's most elite military units. For many years, they never officially existed. Only the most tenacious soldier can become a Pathfinder. These men operate beyond the reach of conventional forces. They are revered by our adversaries, and for good reason. What I'm looking for them is a very high ability to work independently. I need them to be extremely mature. I need them to be intelligent. And they've got to be robust because they could be forward for many days on their own, living on their wits, able to send target information back to us from which we can then do brigade level planning. At 18,000 feet, a small team of Pathfinders prepare to parachute into NATO's newest member state, North Macedonia. Their motto is first in, as they pave their way ahead for 16 air assault brigade who will join them in the heart of the Balkans. The Pathfinders avoid radar detection using an insertion skill called Halo, high altitude, low opening. Using this method, they can deploy anywhere in the world, deep behind enemy lines. On Exercise Swift response, they received orders in the UK and a few hours later were inserting into North Macedonia from the C-17 at 18,000 feet. And that is a genuine capability that we can rapidly push out and within hours they can be sending data on the enemy back to our headquarters. 8,000 British troops deployed across Europe, the largest mass movement since the days of the Cold War. Part of the exercises, 2,500 airborne troops head for North Macedonia to test their combat agility, lethality, and ability to project as a global force. This is what being a paratrooper is all about. We might have a period of days where we don't have resupply, where we don't have the benefits of force protection around us. So each soldier will be expected to live on the ground and survive on almost no support for a protracted period of time. And that means they've got to be physically strong and it means that they've got to be mentally tough and they've got to be really innovative so that they do survive off the land. Testing ourselves in this airborne environment really brings out some of the strongest traits of being a paratrooper. Their initiative, once they've landed, their ability to find and engage and close with the enemy, and also their resourcefulness with very limited supplies helps set them apart from everyone else. So I think there's absolutely a mindset amongst air manoeuvre high readiness troops. And part of that is about a relentless will to win. Part of it is about shared experience of jumping out of planes. And part of it is about a real primacy on physical fitness and mental robustness. The terrain is, is harsh out here. The weather is hard. And showing that they've got that gut the physical ability to step up to the plate and keep going forward no matter what the hour is. I mean, that has been really impressive to see that those young lads are, are stepping up and, and showing what, um, you know, 16 Air Assault Brigade is all about. Parachuting is just, just how we get there. You know, whether we parachute, whether we step off the back of a helicopter, whether we step off the back of a truck, or whether we come out of a white minibus, none of that matters. What we do from there to the objective and on the objective is what counts and that's what makes us paratroopers. The parachute is that's the easy bit. What I'm looking for in all the soldiers of 16 Brigade is the ability to survive and fight without resources for a long time because I expect we will infill by parachute jump or by helicopter in front of where much of the conventional force will be. And what I think we get with our battle groups of 16 Brigade, such as 2 Para, is real potency and a real will to win. I believe 5 1, this is Mayhem 6 5. This will be a Type 2 control bomb on target. I request one by Hellfire, Kilo 1 Alpha, followed by 30 Mike Mike and Gun. Acknowledging the lines when ready for 9 line. Heavily fight. Confirm. Tactical level how we're able to layer what we call eye star so the eye in the sky, with fixed wing aircraft, with helicopters, with troops on the ground, and bringing all those things together at a point of our choosing. And that really is what makes military power potent, when you can layer them together in a space and time of your own choosing. So 
Well, I think the Exile Swift response has been an incredibly important training serial for us. Eight different nations, thousands of troops, projecting rapidly across Europe into complex terrain and against a tough enemy. And I think the exercise has shown the 16 Air Assault Brigade is ready to deploy, fight and win at very short notice. The war in Ukraine poses a very real threat along NATO's eastern border. An attack on one member country is an attack on all. It is essential now more than ever to test the response, capability and interoperability to deter Russian aggression.